Cheers. Good afternoon folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's safe, hope everybody's well. So another shoot from the man cave then and I must say it's been a while hasn't it but welcome back. Now the purpose of today's video is to share with you some tools which have been very kindly sent to me by one of my subscribers, a chap called Dave. Dave, God love you, thank you ever so much. Your gift is a very generous and very kind one and is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. So the background to this is the fact that Dave has contacted me on more than one occasion just to say thank you for the, um, the information and the advice which has been provided by way of my videos for his numerous DIY projects which he says has saved him thousands of pounds and it's always lovely to get feedback like that and uh, that in itself is always good enough for me but the fact that Dave chose to send me not one but several tools which um, really kind Thank you so much. But anyway, look, without further ado, I'm going to turn the camera around, show you what you sent me and uh, just share my initial thoughts with you. I'm very excited about these. I've seen these before um, in various stores and I've always thought to myself, they look really useful. But anyway, I'm going to spin the camera around and uh, let's check them out, shall we? I'm sure you'll find them very exciting. <laughs> right, peeps. Check out those puppies, aren't they beautiful? So we can see we've got four lovely pieces of equipment there, four lovely tools. Now this is probably just a man thing, but I could look at these all day. <laughs> so we can see we have a couple of shovels. So this is the first one then, they're all the same length. So this is a, um, it's got a, a shaped end. It's more oval, isn't it? So that lends itself to more of a, a sort of a cutting or chopping situation. This shovel over here, look, has a square edge. That's more rectangular. And we've got a couple of mattocks here. So a mattock is basically a cutting or chopping device. And this one's called a micro cutter. And this one is called a micro pig. So what we'll do, look, we're just gonna spin the camera around so I'm not holding it and wobbling it everywhere. And we'll take a look, a close look at these in a bit more detail. So we'll start with the shovel set and then work on to the mattocks. So let's just put these to one side for a moment. And let's get rid of this here. So these are obviously protective covers look for the edges. I, mean, I wouldn't say they're sharp, but at least it stops them getting damaged, doesn't it? So these are 27 inches long. Metric is 690 millimeters. This is exactly the same length, this one here, look. Almost to one side. Right, let's spin these round then, shall we? Right, so what are the labels telling us then? So, this is a round shovel, obviously by virtue of the shape on the end here. So, because these are deemed to be micro tools, obviously, the main purpose is to use them where you know there isn't a lot of space basically in confined areas so the length of these then is 27 inches which is the same as 690 millimeters or 69 centimeters in metric so these look very very sturdy indeed and they do have a reputation for being very strong so just looking at this then just looking at the specifications so what does it say then it tells you a little bit about it here look just turn that up so we can see it a little bit better so what's it telling us then um yeah so the handle then is made of fiberglass the blade is heat treated and it has a a covering on it it talks about foot treads but realistically unless you're a very tiny person i can't see many people using that i mean don't get me wrong it might give you a little bit more leverage but i mean there aren't going to be many people with legs that short are there but anyway it's a nice looking tool isn't it oh yeah let's not forget look 25 year guarantee that's pretty remarkable isn't it eh? so this does have some sort of protective covering on it now this here what do they call it um yeah they call it a power ring 
I mean, look, it's just a uh, just a bit of aluminium, isn't it? A bit of steel on there. Look, just to keep everything together. Anyway, so there isn't really a tremendous amount to say about this. I do like these handles. Now there are some shovels out there which basically just have a tubular shaft and they don't actually have this D shape on the end here. I prefer these. I think they're easier to use, better to handle. So I do prefer that for sure. And uh, yeah, this looks pretty good, doesn't it? Eh? Yeah. It's got a lacquered finish apparently and it certainly does now um, we can see that this has just been folded over here look and we've got some rivets either side and this bit here look it's actually it's not one complete piece we can see if we look at this one here that there are two separate pieces you've got this piece here look which ends there and you've got this additional piece here look okay and as we've already said, we've got these collars or power rings as have been described. OK, so moving on to this one then. So the specifications are going to be the same. It's all about the shape, isn't it? Obviously, this has a rectangular shape look, which lends itself more to shoveling stuff. And um, because obviously this is wider, you can get more on it, can't you? Whereas the shape of this lends itself more to using that pointed edge or that shaped edge perhaps to cut through roots, that sort of thing. So first impressions then, these look absolutely lovely. Now, um, we can see that's a slight split here, look, or a slight gap rather. There isn't one on here. It looks as if they've got some sort of epoxy or something down there. And um, I might just drop something down there, some uh, super glue or something like that. I don't have any epoxy glues with me, so, um, but I do have some uh, super glue, so I should probably bang some down there. Right, two mattocks then. Now, they're both called mattocks but the descriptions vary slightly. This is called a micro pigmatic. So look, we can see that the that end there and that end there are exactly the same. The bit that differs is that bit and that bit. So we can see this has got a pick. So it's a point, isn't it, yeah? And this one here, look. Now when you turn that over, they actually describe it as being an ax head. But that's not really an axe head, is it? If anything, okay, they might be using the term generically, but if anything, it's more like a, um, a tomahawk, isn't it? Something a lot smaller. So what can we say about these then? Well, we know they've got a 25 year guarantee, which is pretty remarkable, isn't it? Once again, the micro tools are they're used for um, um, working confined spaces. So we can see, look, that this is meant for working the ground, isn't it? Talks about hard ground, soft ground. You can use it for both of those, mortar removal. So yeah, I mean, this is a tool which is uh, going to be absolutely perfect for builders, landscapers, DIYers, that sort of thing. So let's turn this round and see what it has to say then. So once again, the blade is powder coated that talks about a digging blade there look and that's the pig that's pretty straightforward isn't it once again the handles are fiberglass now this time they've actually got a lanyard hole here look because obviously but these could be potentially dangerous couldn't they if you're swinging these things around now whilst we're at it the other thing that i did notice is the fact that these handles are very slim you know, I've got big hands, okay, of my wrists are seven three quarter inches, whatever that is in metric. But you know, so my hands are big and you know the grip on this isn't as good as I would hope for. So what I'm gonna have to do then, I'm gonna have to perhaps put some, I don't know, hockey tape or tennis racket tape, something like that, just to bulk it out a little bit, okay. Oh no. So now we can actually get a better look at these at the fit and finish. Now, a couple of things. First of all, the actual finish on these look, um, I mean, these are cast, aren't they? They weigh, according to this, 400 grams or 14 ounces. That's both of these. Now, the finish on these, look, it's a little bit rough, isn't it? 
it so it doesn't look as if it's been made with absolute precision but given the cost of these it doesn't really matter I mean I'm certainly not complaining about it because these are free but you know it's um the finish on these is a little bit rough but as I say you know once you get once you start using these things and smacking them around and breaking stuff up with it, I don't really think it's going to make a lot of difference, is it? Now, the other thing we'll notice about these is the fact that this is a friction fit. So what do we mean by that? Well, basically what we mean is it's not secured um, uh, manually in any way. All we've got here, um, the only thing that's keeping this head on, this shaft, is the um, the friction um, is the fit between the head and the shaft so you know we need to make sure before we use this that that's not going anywhere and what I'm going to do I'll take it outside and I'm going to whack it a few times as hard as I can just to make sure that the head of this goes as far down that shaft as possible we can see that there are some very small gaps there look they may disappear incidentally when I um, when I give them a whack them a little bit just to make sure this head's secure. But on there, for example, look, you can see the gaps quite clearly. Now I'm going to whack a load of super glue in there, so I'll certainly be doing that. And I'm assuming that it's going to be the same for this one here. So yeah, look, we can see that there are some gaps. Like say, those gaps are probably going to reduce a little bit once we um you know bang the heads of these just to secure the um the head to the shaft but yeah i mean look on there it's a little bit bigger so i definitely need to make sure that i bang a load of super glue in there just to make sure that head stays on i mean i know that um with mattox you know you can buy the head separately and most of these are friction fit also um, it would be possible to i don't know perhaps put some um, screws or some sort of fixing below the head i mean clearly it's not going to go anywhere down there it's not going to fling off that way is it if anything it's going to slide that way up the handle however i suppose you could put something in there perhaps drill a couple of little holes in there and put um, some bent nails or something in there just to stop this coming off the only problem is why well, i'd be a little bit reluctant to do that is the fact that um you know you don't want to adversely affect the integrity or the strength of the handle do you you want this to remain as strong as possible because it will be as safe as possible the other thing about this lot when you look at the um the end in fact it wasn't that one it's this one here can you see this look you see the edge of that it needs it needs trimming up doesn't it that's got a pretty rough finish on it look i mean yeah you can easily get rid of that can't you with a with a wet stone or indeed a puck which i do have i've got one of these landscape pucks so what i'm going to do look i'm going to go over that with the rough edge i'm going to take that um unsightly edge off there and i'm also going to sharpen up these edges as well i mean that ain't too bad actually but i mean you ain't going to do too much serious cutting with that it's better than nothing but it looks as if we need to work on that and we definitely need to work on that as well just thinking about this actually you know don't you think that would be quite a good apocalypse tool would that be good for zombies just imagine you come up you know you're walking down the street you turn a corner as a zombie wants to eat your brains what you do turn that round pick in the head might sort it out might it eh? So anyway, look, I'm not going to keep waffling for the sake of it. I'll come back and I should do reviews with these at the earliest opportunity. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.